so when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. But I can just tell you this story later. Gulfik. You were taken from the... You who walks among the living! My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them Whoa. across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Look if you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Famu or hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur, 
at the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Rabinthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But truth is, the sweaty clawbag just got lucky. together. Of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Trick lad. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies! Here we go! I'm ready! 
I'll find light crystal. I wonder what it's for. Can you read it? Sir. To New York, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. People believe that New York calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. That they loved and worshipped him here.
Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw, but how do we get it down? How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. I felt that one, brother.
Wow, that was uh, something, that though. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> <gasps> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Work we go. Try keeping that clean. I think that's a keeper. Piece of work, if, if I say so. Myself. If I say so myself. The secret to any craft is in the fine details.
Anything you need, young sir. in that armor something else for you then and for you come back anytime So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? 